Hi, welcome back to Economics. And this week, we will be talking about elasticity and its applications. So when we are going to use elasticity. Um, in the previous chapter, we have introduced the, the law of demand and the law of supply and also the Ceteris Paribus. So when we say law of demand, it says that uh, if the price of the product increases, the quantity demanded of the product decreases. So there is a rever inverse relationship, opposite direction. Um, when we say law of supply, uh, we, it says that uh, if the price of the product increases, the quantity supplied will also increase. So there is a directly proportional relationship. And that is given if uh, we use the Citeris Paribus assumption, which means that all other things are constant. However, it will not always be constant. We know that the demand and the supply are, are not static. In a, in a competitive market, it is not static. The supply and demand, uh, they both uh, respond to changes in price and other factors. But ang atong i-focus now is the price. Okay? So as a result, we can observe some uh, shifts in the demand and supply curve as reaction to the changes in the different determinants. And this reaction is what we call elasticity. Okay, so let's go ahead and discuss first the income, elas the price elasticity of demand and the pricing decisions. So when we say price elasticity, um, it says that uh, the demand, uh, the price elasticity is the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded to a change in price. And also, the pricing decisions is what we are going to determine kung uh, unsa ang the best price for the product. Okay? So, mathematically, uh, price elasticity is illustrated this way. Price elasticity of demand is equivalent to the percentage change in quantity demanded over the percentage change in price, which is the, the change... The percentage change in quantity demanded is equal to the change in quantity demanded over the average of quantity demanded or Q2 minus Q1 over average in quantity demanded or QD. And the percentage change in price is equivalent to change in price over average in price or P2 minus P1 over average P. And this is the simple representation of the price elasticity of demand. QD2 minus QD1 over average in quantity demanded. P2 minus P1 over average um, price. Okay? So, using that computation, um, we have to remember that the demand curve or the, the, yeah, the demand curve is normally uh, downward sloping. So this is how the demand curve looks like. However, uh, there are certain changes in the demand curves uh, that happens as the quantity demanded reacts to the changes in price. So this is our price here, quantity demanded here. In elastic demand, so here, if the elasticity, after computing the price elasticity, if your answer is greater than 1, that's 1 point something and 2 or 3, um, the changes in price are relative, relatively small. So very small siya. This is how an elastic demand looks like. It is almost horizontal. There is a slight change only in price. Okay? But the quantity demanded uh, adjusted. When we have inelastic demand or if the price elasticity demand is less than 1, so let's just say negative or 0 point something, the quantity uh, or the slope of the demand curve is almost vertical. It means that there is a relatively change in the price of the commodity okay so this is how the quantity uh, or the, the the demand curve looks like if your uh, 
price elasticity of demand is inelastic. Right? So, now, uh, in order for us to know the actually the if it's elastic and elastic, we will use the formula. But first, we will discuss the importance of the total revenue in price decisions. So, we refer to uh, total revenue as total sale of products by the producer or seller, which is represented, uh, represented mathematically by TR equals P times Q, where TR is the total revenue, P is the price, Q is the quantity. So note that if we are going to compare two TRs or Duhaka total revenue, whichever yields a higher total revenue holding other things constant, the price charge is the best price of the good, whether it is the old price or the new price. So, we always have to compare ang, ang old price or new price or P1 and P2. Kung asa sa ilaha ang naay higher total revenue, that is the best price. Uh, nga imong ipresyo sa imong product. Okay? So, let's go ahead and put it into application. Let's say, for example, here, Cecilia sells bangus for 100 pesos. And her quantity demanded is 500. So, pag 100 pesos daw ang presyo sa iyang bangus, 500 kabuok ang iyang mabaligya. When she decided to sell it for 125, so iyang gi-adjust iyang presyo, gihi mo niyang 125, ang iyang quantity demanded becomes 450. So, 450 ka bangus na lang. The question is, should Cecilia sell her bangus at 100 or 125? In order for us to get the answer for this is we have to use the total revenue test. Is the quantity demanded elastic or inelastic? In order for us to get the answer for this is we have to use the price elasticity of demand formula. Right? So this is how we are going to do it. So we have this, the, the given uh, data we have. P1 is 100, which is monay presyo niya una, old price. The new price or P2 is 125. The quantity demanded when the price is 100 is 500 pieces. Uh, when the price is 125, uh, the quantity demanded is 450 pieces. So we, we already know the data. We have the given data. Now, we will go to the solution. How we are going to compute the, if it's, how we are going to know if it's elastic and inelastic. So, we have to get the percentage change in demand first. Next, we get the percentage change in price. Then, we solve the elasticity and we solve for the TR and we are going to compare the two TRs, which one is the best price. Okay, so how do we do that? Number one, get the percentage change in demand. So, how, we, how do we do that? Percentage change in quantity demanded is Q2 minus Q1 over average QD. Now, note that to get the average, we have to add Q1 plus Q2 and divide by 2. Mona shay average. So, if we're going to replace this with uh, this value here, we have 450, which is the Q2, minus 500, which is the Q1, divided by 500 plus 450, so that's Q2 plus Q1, divided by 2, is equals to negative 50 over 475, and that's equivalent to negative 0 0.11. So this is the percentage change in quantity demanded. Next is we are going to solve for the percentage change in price. Then how to do that? We are going to simply use the P2 minus P1 over average P. And again, to get the average, we have the P1 plus P2 and divide by 2. So P2 is 125, P1 is 100 over 125 plus 100 divided by 2. So, that's 225 divided by 2. That's 112.50. 125 minus 100, that's 25. And that is equals to 0 0.22. So, this is your percentage change in price. 
Now, we will solve the elasticity. The formula for elasticity is this one. Price elasticity of demand. So we just have to replace this with the value that we have gotten from the previous computation. So the change in the percentage change in quantity demanded is negative 0.11 over the percentage change in price was 0.22, which is equivalent to negative 0.5 or the absolute value or 0.5. So here we will know that this is uh, the price elasticity of this demand is inelastic. Why? It is because our price elasticity is less than 1. Remember the table? We have, if it's less than 1, it is inelastic. If it's greater than 1, it is elastic. If it is equal to 1, that is unitary elastic. So therefore, if it is inelastic, the demand curve tends to slope more vertically. It's more vertical. Okay? Marasyag patindog na halos because it is inelastic. So that is how we are going to solve or to know uh, if it is elastic or not. Now we are going to know which price, which is the what is the best price for this product. So if we're going to to uh, to solve for TR, our formula is TR is equal to P times Q, that's price times quantity. So we are going to compare these two prices. The first price is 100 pesos. So, and the quantity is 500. So that's 100 times 500. That is equivalent to 50,000 pesos. The second uh, price is 125. And the second quantity is 450. So 125 times 450. That's 56,250. Okay. So, let's compare which one has a higher total revenue. Of course, the TR2, which is the 125 and 450. Although nigamay ang quantity demanded niya from 500 to 450, but the, the total revenue is still high. So, we can say that Cecilia should sell the bangus at 125 pesos to get a higher revenue. Okay? So there, we got the, the answers to the first problem. Okay, so I want you to try this second problem. Uh, try to solve this using the same, uh, the same formula that we have discussed earlier. And then you put your comment um, if it is inelastic or elastic or which price is better. Okay, so good luck and have a nice day.